uh, elephants in, in Asia uh, and in Africa. So the world quickly came to know this area. And in fact, this is about the first map of your collecting area right here. This is from the 1750s. Um, and you'll notice right smack in the middle of a map, this area was best known because elephant bones were found here. Uh, the rivers aren't quite drawn correctly, um, but they're not bad for, for a person just working off of uh, what he heard from fur traders, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you can see the Great Salt Lake River. To tell you that there are other salt licks in the area, this of course is called the Licking River here now. Um, leading up to the Ohio River. I went to the Ohio River at the top right, the Little Miami, or then called the Little Miniami. Uh, a totally different name, the Great Miami, um, and the White uh, Whitewater River running into it, etc. But the important is uh, the important point of this is uh, that uh, this area immediately became known as uh, for its elephant bones and became known immediately as Elephant Bone Lick, uh, and, and that's what it was called in the 1740s, 1750s. Fifties, seventeen sixties, etc., etc. It became, of course, very famous 